What's up guys, here's Dunier, I hope you're doing well. Today we're building a very special engine that I actually love. Let's get into it. So, fun facts about the car it came in. It is a two-door, it is an economy car that I converted into a rally car, which I didn't ever think I would say that of the auto in recent times, but moving on. Number three, it is two doors. Number four, it's four wheel drive. Number five, it's a manual transmission, which I didn't expect in 2023, which is insane to me. Because if you think about it, most manufacturers are switching over to either three or four options. Option one, automatic. Option two, CVT. Option three, PDK. And option four, of course, DCT. I know a lot of the German stuff is either auto or PDK. Typically not DCT, except if you include VW, they like their DCTs. Not getting into that. Ooh, look at that big turbo. I like that. Now let's get into the business end of this engine. This engine is a direct injected per cylinder configuration erase intake manifold. I'm gonna run it on E100, which is a little bit of a hot fuel, you might say. But it's fine. Plus 15 quality. Let's move on the exhaust. Tubular radar. Going race with that one. No cat, no first muffler, no second muffler. Let's get back to the top end, just the year, and then change our RPM limiter. Then we're gonna get into balancing the engine, of course, because that piston's aren't loving life, that ain't that much. So now that that is fixed, we have to adjust our cam profile, make it more aggressive. So when it idles, it doesn't idle at, well, diesel RPMs. Idle actually up. Then I have compression, which is bone stock. For the Yaris, GR Yaris, if you don't know what GR stands for, it stands for Gazoo Racing. Very famous in the rally world, very very famous in the Dakar world. Now those are two series I follow roughly to some degree of precision if you're wondering. So now we're just gonna adjust the engine up till we are at my horsepower goal, we're already making a boatload of power so the power goal for this engine is 1000 horsepower out of 1.6 liter i've built inline threes before but i think this is new territory but i have to check on that this isn't words these words aren't in stone yet but let's see making more power is my business making more power is my business you like my song i just created it it's funny now Let's add more boost, seeing we have a few problems. Mainly that our compressor is uh, not happy, not loving life. Same with the turbine, it's not really loving life. But more boost, of course. We're over, we're on my power go, yes. Let's see how far it will go. Without breaking, of course. Ooh, this thing looks good. Wanna wrap those really quick? Please do consider to like, share, comment and subscribe because it really helps me out. Thank you. Yeah, it'll be fine. Let's paint the engine. We're gonna paint a GRS colors. Or GR Yaris colors. Excuse me. A little bit of light in back. But yeah. Intake manifold, I'm leaving that color. Timing cover, I'm painting black. As well as the sum cover, I'm, paint. I'm painting black sum cover. Well, sum cover. I'm crazy with that. Uh, oil pan, excuse me. And the headers are also going to be painted black. That's looking good. Love it. Now let's get to the main part of the video. We're going to do two runs. 1000 horsepower, of course. One facing the engine and of course one facing the graph, as always. Like that. And then we're going to do the running of the engine. Ooh, this thing is 60% reliable. Let's see what she sounds like. This thing sounds absolutely crazy. Thank you very much for watching and hope you have a great day. See you in the next one.